This is another TV. It's a monster of a TV. It's a 65 inch sharp TV there. And it turns on, it shows a logo, but one side is a little bit dimmer than the other side. So it's looking like a backlight issue. Just taking off the screws. I kind of like the TVs with screws. Uh, they have clipless TVs and I find them a little bit more difficult, but this uh, sharp is pretty good quality. Now uh, you need to remove the two speakers and then there's also some cables that go to the LCD panel that you flip up the black tap. Um, I lost the video for this, so this is of a other TV, but it's the same idea where you have these little um, ribbon cables that connect to the LCD panel. And then there's a little bit of tape and that's holding those uh, that bottom LCD um, circuit board. So you just want to get a little bit loose like this right here. And then flip over the TV and we're going to be starting to take off the screen there. At the very bottom there's these little screws that you need to remove just using your screwdriver there and going off the bottom. And then there's these little clips that you can remove the outside bezel. So this is that plastic bezel. And then with that bezel off, you have access to the circuit board here. So you can, with them removed, you can flip them up and you're gonna be taping them to the LCD, just using electrical tape. Electrical tape is not as sticky. So it's, uh, it's okay to tape it on the screen. So with that taped on, then you're gonna be using um, some suction cups to remove it. Now, this TV can barely even fit on my workbench here. So you could do this on a carpet or something, just have something nice and soft for the LCD and something clean. Uh, I got two suction cups from Canadian Tire that I just used and then you can remove it there. You may wanna get two people to help you because this is such a large TV. And then with that LCD uh, screen off, there's also uh, other plastic bezel and these the little clips and you can just pry them up. And that's kind of the idea of all these little plastic bezels. There's little clips and they pry them up. With that off, there's these uh, uh, filter page papers. To get them in the right order, I like to just tape them together. So with that off, you can have a look at all the LEDs. You probably have a couple hundred in there, I don't know. But using my LED tester, I test each row and you can see that they're um, uh, turning on and you're gonna just go around to find which LEDs are bad. The second row didn't turn on there. This turns up half the row. I already tested the other side. So it does it like 50-50. About It lights up about like six or so LEDs and then you'd have to go on the other side of the TV. So you need somewhere where you can reach both sides of the TV. So they're mostly all good. These are three volt LEDs. You can also order them um, on eBay or what have you. And just look for LED uh, replacement LEDs. Uh, three volts and I usually put like two two watts now on that strip on the when you find it you just take off the little filter just break it off and then later you'll glue it on with super glue and then I'm just snipping off the bad LED just with some uh, pliers there and then just using a razor just uh, shine up the little pads and then I, I will put some liquid solder on it and I have my replacement LED I just test it out and make sure it, that the plus and minus are the same. The big pad is negative and the small one is positive usually. And I put uh, some liquid solder on there. I'm putting on the LED there. It's about three millimeter by three millimeter LED. And just heating it up at 300 degrees um, Celsius for about um, 10 to 20 seconds just to just until it adheres to those pads underneath and then you'll just glue the filter back on after you're done. I reconnected the power button to without putting the screen just to turn on to verify all the LEDs are going on. You can see that they're all good and then you just reassemble just check out that the LCD is displaying again it's not turning off which it's not so that's great then you can put on the back and put it on and give it a test and make sure that it goes past that logo so we got the Sharp logo, it's turned on there. And then later we'll get the Smart uh, logo there as well. So that's the fix, how to fix this uh, monster of a TV. Um, now you guys can do it as well. I'll put some links in the description about the parts. Okay, see you in the next one.